Today we're talking about micro jigs, dovetail clamp, and the process of making your own various size hold down clamps using their dovetail bit that matches up with these clamps. This is the micro jig dovetail clamps. And what I did was simply take the router bit that comes with them. It's a quarter inch by half inch dovetail bit and just put it in my cordless router. Set up a fence and ripped the dovetail all the way through this piece of ponderosa pine. Did the same thing with this piece. You can make multiple uh, clamping jigs. And the end of the jig is just dovetailed. Fits their bit perfectly. Slides in and you have some hold down clamps. You know, as far as debarking live edge or sanding or drilling out uh, handles on the charcuterie boards, these shorter length uh, clamps would be perfect for that. And you can just unlimited make multiple length uh, hold down clamps. But uh, the little bit we've used them, they've worked pretty good, and we've had some ideas as far as uh, we've got a bunch of red oak over here that we need to straight line rip. And so we're going to use these on a piece of MDF and come in and make dovetail slots 90 degrees to the fence and use these as hold downs uh, just to get a straight edge on all it's about 800 board feet we had straight line rip so if we set up one jig that we can clamp the boards into because we are going to turn around after that and it's going to be random widths not everything's going to be the same because it's going to be kind of rustic boring but we are going to tongue and groove that uh, red oak afterwards so we're hoping to set this jig up and uh, use it uh, on this uh, red oak for flooring. But so far, the little bit of use with these clamps has, you know, seems like it's going to be uh, pretty useful here in the shop. 